Hello guys! Why don't we elevate a can of tuna fish? Ooh, we're gonna frou-frouize it. <laughs> New word in English. Turn it frou-frou. You're gonna love this. It is super easy to make, talk about inexpensive, and delicious! If you haven't subbed, please sub. Don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you always know when they have a new video. <laughs> Let's make this. So I'm gonna be using tuna in water for this recipe. I'm just using the Costco brand. Um, it doesn't matter. You can use, um, you know, in water, in oil. It really doesn't matter for this recipe because we're gonna stew it and it doesn't matter. Uh, we're using two 7 ounce or 198 grams uh, cans, okay? I'm going to heat a little oil in here and I'm going to add half of a small onion, which I minced. We're just going to cook this for a few minutes until the onion is softened and translucent. Let's call it five minutes. Um, I'm going to work on medium heat. All right, our onion is ready. So I added a couple bay leaves. I just want to smell the bay leaf. We're not gonna, we're gonna let the, the fish stew with those inside and then we'll take them out. All right, I'm gonna add two garlic cloves, which I minced, and half a serrano pepper, which I seeded and took the main bread out. Absolutely optional. I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of cumin and about a teaspoon of oregano. Add a little bit more oil. We're just gonna cook this for a couple minutes until we can smell, oh, those spices in the garlic. One minute. All right, I'm going to add both of those cans with the water. By the way, if you're using oil, uh, you're gonna want to uh, drain it out of the oil, otherwise it will be too, too greasy. And you will have to add a little water if you do that. Uh, we're just gonna kind of flake it in here. I want to leave it a little chunky. We're going to add oh about two cups of chopped tomatoes. So that's four Roma tomatoes. Okay, if as I said, if you were using uh, tuna in oil, you are going to add a little water to this, okay? Uh, I don't know, quarter cup. We're gonna season this with salt and pepper. Be careful with the salt. It probably has salt in the tuna already, so taste it, okay? I am going to let this simmer on, you know, low heat until all the liquid is gone and the tuna has t absorbed all those beautiful flavors. So now we're going to make a little slaw. So we're just going to cut this, slice this very thinly. I am now going to squeeze a lime in here. This is not a small lime, so if you have small limes, use two, okay? and we're gonna add a generous amount of salt. With my clean hand, I'm just gonna mix this. Give it a good massage. I'm going to add enough water to cover this, and we're gonna leave it aside. All right, this has been simmering for about 20 minutes. So you can see that the liquid is almost all gone. I'm just going to uncover it and let it finish cooking so that all of it is gone, okay? All right, so this is pretty much done. We're going to taste it for salt. It needs salt for me. I'm going to squeeze a lime in here. Actually, half a lime. And a handful of chopped cilantro. Okay, I'm going to take this off the heat and we will continue. So you can buy store-bought tostadas for this if you want. 
and skip this, but I'm gonna make my tostadas at home, okay? I'm heating oil, as you can see. It's important that your oil is really hot, otherwise that tortilla is just going to boil in there and be disgusting. We want it to really quickly get nice and crisp and it be done in minutes. So I'm gonna test it. See how the bubbles are forming? It's ready. So we're just going to let this get nice and browned on both sides and take it out. It'll take a couple minutes. By the way, this is a corn tortilla. I can feel that it's crisp already, but I want it to brown a little bit. All right, beautiful. I'm going to now put it on a paper towel lined plate. I will work one by one. I do not want to crowd my pan. All right, so let's prep, uh, let's prepare our tostada. It's nice and crisp and there's no grease because the oil was really hot. So we're going to top it with some of our tuna. So we'll put some of that super spicy sauce on it. Some cotija cheese. Yeah, you can use any fresh cheese. Some of that cabbage. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna put a little Mexican crema on it. You can use sour cream. Some avocado and a little bit of lime juice. Oh my gosh. Let's eat. Wow, that's all I can say. Oh, I would never know that this is fish that came out of a can. It's fantastic. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.